Hello everybody, so in this video we will be looking at the lead code problem 1630 arithmetic sub array. So the problem statement says that a sequence of number is called arithmetic if it consists of at least two elements and difference between every two consecutive elements is the same. Just like a arithmetic progression where uh, distance between any two elements is uh, we take it as same that is d. So that is all and this is the example of the arithmetic like uh, 1 3 5 7 9 is arithmetic because 3 minus 1 is 2 5 minus 3 is 2 7 minus 5 is 2 and 9 minus 7 is 2 so their difference is same so we are given with the array of n integers that is nums and two arrays of m integer each l and r so the size of l array l and array are is same and those arrays are representing m queries so where the ith query is, is in the range l of i to r of i so we have to return a boolean array which tells us about a sub array being arithmetic sequence or not so in the first test case if we take it as an example so what we are given uh, in the first test case the first test case uh, this is our nums array uh, with index 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 0 1 2 this is 0 1 2 so what we have to do uh, what we have to do we will be going from uh, l of 0 to r of 0 that is from index 0 to index 2 and we will check whether uh, this sub array is a uh, ap or not if this is a ap uh, uh, if this is a ap uh, it can uh, first we have to re rearrange it in any order like it is 4 6 5 if it is ap then it's fine it can be 4 6 Four five six uh, six five four uh, five four six anything we can arrange it in any order and if in any of those order it forms a AP then we will add true to our output array so that is what we will do for each of these queries so how we will do that so the brute force I would say for this which comes into my mind is I will iterate through this LR array and for each query I will insert these uh, for example from 0 to 2 for query 1 I will insert this into another vector right I will insert this into another vector back then I will sort them 4 5 6 if I sort them uh, you can observe that in the end uh, if they have the same distance the same uh, distance or we can say same difference d then they are ap so after that when i sort them i'll just check whether they are forming a ap or not and if they form a ap i'll return true or if they don't form an ap i'll return a false that is what we have to do and we have a base case here that is if our uh, n is equal to 2 that is number of elements are 2 then it is already in ap so we will return that is our base case so if we look at the time complexity for this case so let us suppose the size of this array nums is n and as l is equal to equal to r the size is m so the time complexity will be we will iterate uh, m of those l array and in the worst case we have to iterate the all these in the worst case we have to iterate all of these so it will be n and for sorting if we do it using the stl it will be n log n as it quick sorts so n log n this will be our time complexity for the brute force so i'll just code the brute force here in the lead code ide what i'll do i'll just uh, get the size uh, so int n is equal to or I can say int m equals to l dot size I need a boolean array answer now what I'll do I'll iterate through my l or any of these array int of i is equal to 0 i less than m i plus plus and I'll just store the value int x equals to l of i and int y equals to r of i now i'll run another loop for int of 
in j equals to it will start from x and it will go up to y and j plus plus because uh, we are going from suppose 0 to we are going from 0 till 2 so that is what we are going going from 0 to 2 and we also need a vector in which we will store this values so vector of integer i'll name it vec and i'll just insert vec dot push back what i'll push back nums of j and after that i'll just sort this sort vec dot begin comma vec dot end so this is i'm sorting it so it will be arranged in a sorted order in sending order and for that all the values if distance should be d and if it is then you can sort it in descending order too and if the distance is same for all the elements then it is ap now i'll check now i'll check if is arithmetic and i'll and i'll pass the vec array if it is arithmetic then what i'll do i'll do answer dot pushback true else answer dot push back false answer dot push back false and in the end i'll return my answer now we have to write this is arithmetic function so let me just define it i'll define it above here bool is is arithmetic vector int we will pass it by a reference and int n is equal to vec dot size so for the base case if uh, rn is equal to equal to 2 then it is already a arithmetic operation and uh, arithmetic sequence of array so i'll just return true and equals to equals to 2 return true now i'll uh, i'll take uh, int d equals to vec of 1 minus vec of 0 so for int of i equals to 2 i less than n i plus plus if at any moment vec of i minus vec of i minus 1 is not equal to d i'll return false or if i don't return a false i'll return a true in the end now the code is done as you can see it is pretty simple and easy for the brute force so now let me just submit so as you can see our code is submitted so thank you for watching the video and make sure to hit that subscribe button